Hello everyone, my name is Vikas and this is another session from Tutorials Diary. In this session, we'll discuss about some features which we have in the Remix IDE. In case you have worked upon Ethereum and you are working on Ethereum, you are very much familiar about the Remix IDE. So Remix is used to develop a smart contract. It helps us to develop, compile, deploy and test the a smart contract in the Solidity language. So as we are all aware that Remix come in two flavors. So Remix can be accessed by this URL which is remix.ethereum.org which is a browser based IDE or second option is that uh, you can also install the Remix IDE on your system and you can access it offline as required. So in both these flavors, which is browser-based IDE or the local IDE, you have various options which very few people are aware and very few people used in the day-to-day -day life. So in this session, we are focusing mainly on the one of the features, which is uh, how you can access, how you can make a connection to your local file system and the Remix IDE. So the major challenge which developer face when they use a remix ide uh, so if you're using the remix ide which is remix.ethereum.org you go to these browsers uh, mostly you create a smart contract here so in case your browser got shut down by default by mistake or in case you have an issue with your system you're not able to save your uh, smart contract code so we need to have some sort of backup in your local drive so that in case something goes wrong you have a backup of your code in your local system so that kind of features we need to have and that always we expect as a developer so by considering that remix to have an option which we can use so you can connect to your local file system you can create a share folder which can be shared between your local system and the remix ide so that whatever you develop you can store to that shared folder so that you will have a backup of your smart contract which you're writing in your remix ide so we'll show that to you how you can do that one and what step you will follow to make that happen basically so this is how our remix ide look like which is accessed by again remix.ethereum.org so this is your file explorer option where you see the different option to create a new file to add a local file and pu publish to the github and clone this file and then you have a different kind of smart contract defined here and at right side you have the option to compile the smart contract to run the smart contract do the analysis and do the debugging of the smart contract so, but in this session, we are focusing on the main feature, which is this one. If you go to this one, this is what option we have connect to your local host. So you can connect to your local host. That means your local file system and you can create a shared folder that can be accessed from this remix IDE. So now let's see that one, what step you have to follow for that one. So we already have a post on our website, which is this one. You can just go to this URL, which is tutorialsdiary.com, access local file system from Remix IDE. So this is a post which talk about that, how you can access uh, your local file system from a Remix IDE. So all these steps from a Windows operating system, but now in this video, we'll show you that how you can perform the same step on a Linux operating systems. So the very first thing which you required, let's move to this uh, Linux operating system for now. The very first thing uh, we need to have is a Remix T. So Remix T is a tool or a uh, component which enables this connection with this Remix IDE and your local file system. So first of all, we have to install that Remix D on your system. So let's see that one, how we can install that. Okay, I'm opening this one new terminal. So once we open this one, so we have to log in with the admin user. So for that one, I will run this command sudo minus i. And then I will mention the password and enter this one. So now I have login with my admin user. So now we will install the Remix T. So for that one, we will use the node package manager. And for that one, we'll run this command, which is npm install minus g is for global 
and remix t. So once you run this command, this will start downloading all the files for this remix t and it will start installation for you. So since this is already installed for me, so this should be quick. I expect that one, but for you people, if you're doing it first time, this will take few minutes because it will download all the files and will start copying all the files. Then once the installation is completed, some post installation step will be also performed here. So this is all always takes some time. I would say this will take around five minutes. So you have to wait for that time and then you have to perform the next step. So as you can see, this is a kind of bit quick for me because this is I have installed in the past and uh, this should be quick. So this is loading all the files here as you can see and you may see some warnings also okay so in case you see some warning don't worry about that warnings and just ignore that for now but in case you have some errors then you have to make sure that and uh, the user which you're using it should be admin user that user should have a full access so now as you can see here because this is the final message which i have seen because this is already installed for me this just uh, make few changes and this got installed successfully so now once this remix d is installed on your system the next step is that we will create a shared folder on our system and we'll start the remix d with that shared folder so for that one let me go to my file system and uh, let me create one shared folder here so i will just go here create a new folder with the name shared folder so this folder will be shared uh, with the remix ID from my local system. So now I will exit from here. I will move to my uh, user. So now I have to start this remix T. So to start this remix T, you have to run this command, which is uh, remix D minus S and the location of your folder. Okay, so first of all, let me show you my folder currently so this is my folder location which I have slash home slash because so now I will start the remix D uh, with the same command remix D minus S slash home slash because slash shared folder so this is how I'm starting the remix D by matching the shared folder once I click on enter as you can see that the remix t is started and it is using the shared folder so this is how you can install the remix t on your system and once installation is completed you can create a shared folder on your system and you can uh, start the remix t so when the remix t is started you can go to this uh, remix browser based ide and just see what step you have to do here in this one now to make a connection to your local shared folder from this remix IDE, which is browser based IDE, you have to just click on this one, this icon. Uh, then once you click on this icon, this will open a pop up, which details the steps, what you're trying to do here with this step basically. So since we already covered this step, so I will just simply click, click on connect here. So once you click on connect, as you can see here, uh, you have this connection green and you will see one local host here a green connection is shown here in this one that means the connection is made successfully and you will see a local host created in you now what we will do we'll create a new file there in that one uh, in that folder so for that one I will open a new terminal this was uh, I already have a file here but I will just show you again you can just see the folder location I will just go there to my shared folder and I will create one file with the name student underscore test dot sol so I created one file so now what should happen as soon as I create this file I should be able to access this file from the remix which is a browser based IDE because this this folder is being shared uh, with the remix IDE using the remix T. Now let's go there to the your remix browser and just open this one and you should be able to see this one.
okay now let's do one more check uh, let's do one more thing also let's create one more file i will create one more file touch uh, this command uh, student underscore sample dot sol now once you refresh this one you just close this one and this one this will also show you here again this is a blank file so now you can start writing uh, here like this way okay so now you can start writing your code so now you will have a backup of your file in your local system so this is how this option in the remix IDE will help you to save and backup your solidity file uh, in your local folder instead of storing it somewhere else instead of losing your file when you're working on this one because this is always important to you okay so we have seen how you can make a connection uh, to your local file system using the remix T as a component from the remix browser so we have covered in case you're interested in the uh, windows steps so this is the location again i will just share this uh, url in the video description down below so which covers the windows steps but uh, whatever step you have seen in this video this is the same step which which is applicable for both operating system whether it's a window or linux so step will remain same for installation and starting your remix d and then how to make a connection from your remix browser to the local folder i hope that you like this video and thanks for watching <music>